He's even putting up post. I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. Greetings. Would you be here about my violin by any chance? I am. I saw from your posters that it was stolen. The name is Sherlock Holmes. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I'm Anthony. Anthony Jones. But... Uh, by the sounds of it, you haven't seen my instrument, alas. <laughs> but if there's anything you can do to help locate it, I'd be most glad. Just tell me exactly what happened. How was your violin stolen? Some needy soul broke into my home while I was out. The only thing of value they took was the instrument. Did you report the theft to the police? I did. But they dismissed it as petty theft. Don't get me wrong, I, I don't blame them. They certainly have more important matters to deal with. It would be another crime if I let some petty thief get away with your beloved violin. Let me help you find it. Oh, thank you very much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. <laughs> Come inside, I'll show you everything. Feel free to look around. The door was kicked in. This cover is dusty. It hasn't been taken off for a long time. The scrap of fabric is covered in white stains. Clumsy of a thief to cut himself on the glass he just broke. The thief left the bow. I suppose he prefers pizzicato. The jaggy bottle reeks of cheap whiskey. An utterly useless theft deterrent for a glass display case. Nothing was taken except for the violin. How odd. These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful if my sight reading holds true. I see you've received many accolades. 
Ah, those are from a long time ago. I used to perform a lot in my youth. Anything else you'd like to know? Does anyone else live here? No. My dear Emily died long ago. And God never blessed us with children. I used to give music lessons. But nobody visits me anymore. You weren't here when the burglary happened, correct? I was tending to my wife's grave at the cemetery. I was only gone a few hours and locked the door before leaving. The trail stops here among the waste. Hello, sir. Would you like some fruit? Fresh from the orchard? I'm not hungry, but I'm looking for a violin that was stolen. Any chance you saw someone with one? Uh, oh, yes, I did. It was sailors, sir. And they were very good customers. They ate lots of fruit. And said that my donkey looks like their friend. A lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant Sean. Hmm, a lieutenant. Did you see where they went? No, sorry, sir. I was helping other buyers. Oh, and sir, the sailors also took my donkey. So I guess they weren't very good customers. They promised to return him, but they didn't come back. My father will kill me if he finds out. 
So I'm still waiting here for them. Do you know Anthony Jones, the musician? He lives nearby. Of course. Mr. Jones is very kind. He never barters. Funny you ask. I'm yet to crack a smile, so pray tell. Well, the first time they came by, the sailors mentioned something about music, so... I told them Mr. Jones can teach them how to play. Wait. So what is his violin? Oh. You couldn't have known they would steal from the old man. Fortunately, you made up for it with your testimony. I'll find them and your donkey soon enough. Stay put. Help me, please. You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Can I ask you a question? Mr. Fancy Clothes won't find any answers here. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. We have a large assortment and pleasant prices. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Of course, think it over. Take your time. Take a look. Try it on. It'll be a nice purchase. Can I ask you a question? Mr. Fancy Clothes won't find any answers here. Take a look. Try it. It's on. It'll be a nice purchase. Help me, please. I've never heard of it. I'm sorry. Exquisite furniture for your home. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I've never heard of it. I'm sorry. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. My goods will brighten up your house. You always know where to find me. Take a look. Try it on. It'll be a nice purchase. Are you able to help me? I'm afraid I can't answer that. I know nothing about it. Are you able to help me? Listen, friend. I like your face. I'll tell you. Someone must have seen where they took it. It's a donkey, for heaven's sake.
donkey was being stubborn, but so were they. There we are. The first lead in our asinine chase. One of them lost his cap. They certainly bought a lot of fruit from the boy. Fear of scurvy, perhaps? A pile of dung. An act of defiance. I hope it got on their shoe. Another bottle of whiskey. Oh, this must be Lieutenant Sean. The sailors couldn't get him inside the tavern. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. Good grief. Those drunks are wreaking havoc in there. Good grief. Those drunks. The maker's stamp suggests it was made by a student of Pressender. Quite a lovely instrument. And somehow, after all the mayhem, it's still in one piece. I found your donkey. It's not far from here, outside the Wet Whiskers Tavern. You'd better go after it before someone decides to borrow it again. Thank you, sir. I'll be quick as a flash. Hey, Yusuf, please look after my cart, okay? And don't eat anything. Well, you can have a couple of grapes, but only the small ones. Well done. I look forward to the beautiful reunion.
greeting. Here's your violin, Mr. Jones. It might have gained a few nicks and scratches, but considering what it's been through, it's a miracle that it's still in one piece. God bless you. I am deeply in your debt, Mr. Holmes. The scratches don't matter. They are like scars, each telling a story. It is the sound that matters. Oh, you should hear her sing. It would be my pleasure. This melody, Sherlock, don't you recognize it? Look up, Sherry. There used to be an attic up there. We used to sneak in from the roof and listen to Mr. Jones play when we were children. You should tell the old man the truth. I think it will mean a lot to him. Bravo. I've forgotten how beautiful a violin sounds in the skilled hands of a virtuoso. That, uh, melody it brought back some memories. I have a confession to make, Mr. Jones. As a child, I used to sneak into the attic above this very room and listen to you play, spellbound by the music. Oh, so that was you. After my wife's death, it was difficult to pick up the violin again. But knowing someone was listening helped me persevere. In fact, a young man like yourself would breathe a second life into this instrument. It's a remarkable outlet for one's emotion. You should have it. I... I can't accept that. And... Oh, I don't play. Ah, uh, it's never too late to learn, Mr. Holmes. The way I see it, the violin chose you. Take good care. Sherry, I'm really glad we helped him. <laughs>